What's up, everybody? Donnie here. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be targeting pompano. When it comes to pompano fishing, I usually stop after like the month of May because it gets super hot and the pompano bite aren't as good. When you do get on them, the majority of the pompano are going to be super small. But I heard that they've been running and guys are catching keepers. So we're going to give it a shot today and see if we can't get on some pompano. But before we start fishing, I just want to shout out KBO Bike for sending this electric um, Ranger bike over to me. My first ever electric bike. I'm super stoked. I already uh, tested this out super fast, up to 28 miles per hour with pedal assist, but with just a full throttle. It goes up to 24 miles per hour, which is plenty fast for me. But we're not going to go over, over the, uh, the specs too much. You can go on their website, check out the specs. I'm looking forward to putting this bike to use and hopefully we get onto some pompano today. Let's see if I can just squat and do this. That's not bad. Look who's joining us today. Welcome for another one, brother. How are you feeling today? Pretty good, man. You, you, burn, nice, you, nice. you have your uh, new bike with you, right? Oh, yeah. I like yours too, man. Oh, man, it's good. Pretty it's solid. Simple setup it's, it's, in there. It's probably lighter than my bike, huh? Uh, this is lighter than this. How bolt. much does it weigh? Uh, this is 68. 68? Okay, so about... 50 something without the battery. Uh, how, how heavy is yours? It's 77, but it's big though. You gotta yeah, check it out. You, you haven't seen it. Boy, you, you haven't seen it yet, no, right? I haven't seen it yet. Dude, it's sick. Let's go check it out. Oh, you have the big boy. Yeah. So you set for the fritters and everything. Let's yes, do sir. That. Look at that, guys. So I have the foldable one. So this is the KBO electric foldable bike. And Tani has, what, what was the name of this? The Ranger Cargo. This is the Ranger Cargo. I think this might be their biggest, uh, biggest bike. This is the one that holds more yeah. This is like 400 pound capacity, right? Yeah, yeah. So in this Which bike, is insane. Guys, you can bring your kids, you can bring your fishing tackle, you can bring your bait bucket. And the only reason I didn't go with this because Tani has a truck, I don't. So I need to fold mine and put it on the car. But I love this one. I checked this one out. I mean, I love them both. So yeah, yeah man. I love it, brother. It's, are, it's, 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 it's a lot of fun. I like those fat tires on yours, though. Yeah, for sand, man. You know, I want to see. I want to see how this performs on the uh, sand. It'll be okay. It's yeah. still fat. What? Three inches? Yeah, something like that. Three inches. Yeah. I got the four-inch tires, and I do really good on the sand. Great off-road, and I have the front suspension. So that's really oh, yeah. good for uh, off-road. Yeah. That's cool, man. Yeah, I love. I love your bike. Let's uh, get fishing. Yeah, let's go and hit the first let's bridge go. and take it from there. Let's go. Let's do it. You want to race? Ah, uh, <laughs> I think that one goes a little faster, right? It is a little faster, yeah. How many miles you can go with that? 24. Okay, you go a little faster than me. But, but with the assist, it's 28 miles per hour. Okay, so yeah, you go a little faster than me. All right, had to go back to my truck to get the teasers and the, the pompano jigs. Made it quick with the, uh, the electric bike. We're gonna go with chartreuse and pink. That's the combination we're gonna be throwing this morning. We're gonna tie on a loop knot. You always wanna use a loop knot when you're tying on a pompano jig, so it gives it more action in the water. It just flutters down really nice when you tie a loop knot. Lots of bait down there, lots of little, little glass minnows. Might be some big snook down there too. We might have to try to target snook here soon. It's been tough trying to find snook, man. It's probably just me. I know some of you guys out there are crushing snook fishing right now. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are killing snook right now. Oh, there you go. That's a good one. Good job, Bush. Heck yeah, man. He had to be the first one to catch a, a stud pump. Probably a stud right there. That's a big, that's a pompano for sure. That initial first run, targeted species right there. Two minutes into the spot, and we got our targeted species, guys. Two minutes in the spot, Bush nice. said, and he's already hooked up. And he's a keeper here. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice one, Bush. This guy goes home. What's 12, 12 half? What are you using, half ounce? Or? Uh, I'm using half ounce now. Yeah. Orange on orange. I got three eighths on. We'll see. Hoping for the best. Works, yeah, just jump on orange. I got to get one, man. It's been a while since I caught a pompano. It's been a few months for me. Hey. At least we know they're here now, guys. Yeah. That's what nice. So this time of year, I feel like they're going to be around bridges. I know this bridge holds them, but if you check other bridges, most likely you'll get them there too. Man, this kind of reminds me of the old, old Tierra Verde bridge fishing. Do you, do you remember that bush? The it's old? Fast. 
Yeah, the old Tierra Verde that bridge, man, before the they started, yeah. the, before and they built the new one. And it's lower than this, so it's yeah, much it was a little bit lower. To, yeah, to bring food to and you can catch, I mean, I've seen Cobia just cruising through there. Everything, you can see. Everything. Gag Grouper, now, now it's not the same. Uh, Big Snook. I used to go out there at night with my buddies, dropping down big grunts and big pinfish for those giant snook and gags too, right in the center of the, uh, the bridge, the drawbridge, the old yeah, drawbridge. Man, used to be really good fishing over there. It's not the same anymore now. There we go. Something. Oh, it's, it's ladyfish. Yeah. Hooked onto a ladyfish, came off. That's always a good sign when there's ladyfish around. Most likely when there are ladyfish around, there's pompano around. There's a fish. It's a mangrove snapper. Let's go, baby. Little mango. Yeah, those guys are hungry now. They are. They eat everything they see. We need to we need to fish for mangoes down here. There might be some oh, big ones down here. Mango. Little guy though. Wish he was a, uh, you know, keeper. Oh, there you go. Bush is on it again. Bush has got two already. I haven't caught one right. yet. You need to get a yellow. Maybe I might need to switch to yellow. I'm on. Are you on yeah, that was a pompano. My first one. He was jumping out of the water. I didn't even know he was on, man. Pretty cool to see these guys still around in the summer. Usually, like I said, typically when I fish for pompano, it's springtime and then wintertime. But pretty cool. Let's put him back in the water. Peace out, little dude. Oh, there we go. Good one. There we go. What is this? Oh, snagged a something. I don't know what I snagged. A trout, maybe? Got him on the wrong end. It's a trout. Oh yeah, he's thrashing like crazy. Hold on, dude, I'll let you go. Oh. There we go. Good fish. Oh my goodness. He's, he feels like he's snagged for sure. But it feels like he's decent though. I don't know. Come on, let it be a keeper. You think that's a keeper, Bush? Uh, I have a uh, making shape, but that looks like a keeper. I thought he was like 14, you got him on the side. So. I thought so too. He might. Uh, let's, yeah, let's measure him real quick. Uh, uh, right on the line. Right on the line. We're going to have to let this guy go. Not not a bad one there. That's a keeper if I wanted to keep him, but we're letting this guy go. Let's put him back in the water. Let's try to get a keeper. I mean, he is a keeper, but I want to get something bigger than him. A fish are. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a fish. I don't know. It's not a fish, it's a crab. Do these things pinch you? Uh, yeah, they do. Oh. Oh, wow, look at them go, man. Yeah, we're not gonna mess with this guy. We're gonna use the D hooker. Oh, yeah, that's a good thumbnail picture. That is when you know you've been working the bottom. <laughs> it's a good thing. Handy little tool right there. Got a fish on. Oh, it came off. Oh, he's still on. It's a pompano. He might be a decent one, I don't know. There's another one. He might be, Bush. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. He's definitely probably a little over 11 inches. We're gonna keep him. It's been a while since I had pompano, so. Yeah, I'll say 11 and a half, right? Zero, 11 and a half. I thought he was 11 and a half. Alrighty. First keeper of the day. <laughs> Not bad. Next to that fender bush. Alrighty. First keeper for me. A little over 11 inches. We're going to keep him just because I haven't had pompano in so long. That's going to taste so good. Yeah. Out here with Bush from uh, Fish On Channel. I still got my pompano touch, Bush. Oh, yeah. Haven't lost it. <laughs> Actually, you, did, you did catch a couple. They were short, but you got like what? Three or four? Three or four. Yeah. Three, I think. I then lost a really big one because my, my knot came undone. I don't know what that was all about, but yeah, it happens. 
Yeah, for sure. It's now nice, to nice to know that they're around here, around the, this bridge here. I know you guys like that stuff. Spot hopping or bridge fishing. Yeah. Pumping the fish. Yeah, we'd like to bring content that you guys can go out there and find some fish, you know. We don't want to board you with a boat fishing and you have no idea where we are <laughs> and what we catch and how we catch. That's why, you know, shore fishing is always good for all the beginners or anybody that's trying to or struggle to catch some fish, you know. Plenty yep. of guys that always ask me, like, man, I haven't got pop up in here. Follow simple rules, you'll get them. All right, Bush. Hi, that's going to be, yeah, that's going to be a wrap for me, Hi, man. man. It was We're... nice seeing you again. And Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back here tomorrow morning and Hopefully, hopefully the bite's better tomorrow morning. I'm still amazed that they're still around, that you're, you're still able to get them. Oh yeah. You know, typically, like I said, like I mentioned uh, earlier in the video, typically when I'm targeting pompano, it's springtime. Yeah, I always like keep time. saying that, but for me, it's always been summer. So I guess there, there's, a, there's a summer run, which is new to me now. <laughs> Just found out about it. We'll get out there again. And if you guys want to check out Bush's uh, a video of, of today's fishing and what the other day's fishing and the other day, put those he's gonna put those together go check out his uh, channel links gonna be down in the description box below oh wait he hit it on the, oh it's a jack hit it when, the, when i was reeling it in that's how you hook jacks when you're reeling it in they'll start charging your your bait but we're not gonna touch this guy. Get our gear hooker. Pompano's cousin though. See ya. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's a good one. It feels like he's, oh, he might be snagged. Oh yeah. Felt kind of weird. Yeah. These guys are pretty dangerous, these little guys here. Put them back in the water without even having to touch them. See, little trout ski. Little schooly trout right there. Oh yeah. Calm down, dude. Hold on, hold on. See, that is gonna be a wrap. Unfortunately, the pompano were not thick. Caught that one small one, the guy next to me caught a keeper, 12 inches to the fork, but they were super slow this morning. I originally thought that they were gonna be chewing, like they were gonna be on fire this morning, but that was not the case. We came out here to this pier, checked it out. There's a lot of snook there, but they would not touch anything I threw at them. Shout out to KBO for sending over this Ranger Cargo electric bike. This is my very first electric bike, so super stoked. Definitely gonna have to take this out more often to spots where I have to walk long distance to get to, especially when I'm pompano fishing in the springtime or anytime really. Um, fishing bridges like I did today. It's convenient to have this option. I gotta say though, this bike does weigh a lot. It weighs about 77 pounds. So if you're gonna get this specific model, I would definitely get a bike rack to attach to the hitch of your truck or your car. If you guys are looking to pick up the same model, I mean, you could add accessories to this. There's a whole bunch of accessories they have on their website. Um, you don't have to go out there and get the same exact model that I have. There's different, uh, different options you can choose from. You can fit two people on this bike very easily. I mean, it holds up to 400 pounds. That's a lot <laughs> for a bike. You can do a lot to it. You can add more accessories to it, more baskets. Me, I'm probably going to add two rod holders in the back. So we're going to have two rods out there. Anyways, if you guys want to pick one of these up, um, check the link down below. Save 30 bucks off. Use the code Thani. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.